Hello, this is Chris Billier at WPI with a tutorial on running pre-cycling on a Blue Hill 2 with an Instron 5544 mechanical testing machine which is screw driven and my pre-cycling is going to be load controlled at a fairly high rate showing that a screw driven machine doesn't control very well doing that. So if I go under my method I have my ramp rate chosen, my end of test, is I'm testing a polypropylene rope at 5% strain maximum it's going to go to, and a failure criterion, and a pre-testing with a pre-cycling at 8 cycles at a rate of 600 newtons per minute, and uh, under load control going to a maximum of 100 newtons and a minimum value of 0 newtons. This is a circular rope of about a quarter inch diameter, 6.3 millimeters, 99 millimeters long. I have my safety stop set so it won't hurt the grips and I have my uh, I have my gauge length set. I'm going to set my tear load to about five Newtons. Reset my gauge length, and I've already measured that out. I have my safety stops and my safety shield. I'm going to run a test here. As you notice, the load displacement behavior is fairly non uniform. It's supposed to be ramping directly up at 600 newtons per minute but there's some give in the sample and this is not doing very good load control. Now it's stopped at zero and now it's shooting up very quickly at its 600 newtons per meter but instead of stopping at 100 newtons it overshoots to 120 newtons. You can see up at the top here at 120 newtons it goes down to zero shoots up and again there's some given the material so it's not able to ramp at 600 newtons per meter minute and then come back down at 600 newton per meter because of the compliance of the sample and the non-linearity of the sample again this is polypropylene rope if we look at the stress strain behavior the uh, this is specimen two here it's fairly uniform stress strain behavior but the force first time is not held very well. And then the sample goes to 5%. Thus, the difficulty of doing stress control or force control using an electromechanical machine rather than a servo hydraulic or electrodynamic machine.